this place real? That depends. If real is what you can feel, smell, taste, and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Pikachu, I have in my hand two pills. You take the blue pill, and the story ends now. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the Diglett Hole goes. But be warned, dive too deep, and you may never return. So it is time. This is an investment game to talk about alternative business and collectibles. It's not particular investment advice, but if you listen to this, you will be a better collector and you'll make smarter decisions as far as where to put your money and collectibles. And this is a big one. Um, I want to make this video as of right now. I think it may be a good opportunity to buy payload cards. Hopefully, I'm making this on January 28th and it's going to post on. Oh, no, my bad. It, I'm making this on December 28th and it should post on January 3rd about Pele cards. Um, I'm a huge, I like soccer cards and I'm a Pele fan. And the, the big thing here is that he is, uh, his health is declining. I hope he doesn't pass away for his years, hopefully. But um, that's part of the reason why some of his cards are going up because I think people realize like, oh, his cards are going up. Or he's gonna pass away and his stuff is gonna spike. Um, unfortunately, I think the sports car market has gotten so bad that a lot of people think this way now. So they're just buying cars, hoping people pass away so they can make a profit. I I'm not a fan of that, but um, I, I wanna educate some people on Pele cards and probably get them before they get out of reach. I do think if he does pass away, um, Things will return back to normal for most cards, but there'll be a few cards that, um, you know, they'll be much higher forever in, in a sense. But uh, yeah, so so here we go. Um, this is some Pele index since 2015 here. Um, also, if you don't know, like Pele is considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest soccer player ever. Um, he's on the Mount Rushmore. Uh, the negatives about Pele is that, you know, there wasn't as much competition back then. And, you know, his team was stacked compared to everybody else. So it was just easier for him to, in, in a sense, dominate. And, and most of the, I guess I would say most of the rules are the same. There, there are a few differences, but um, that's kind of a thing where, you know, Messi and Ronaldo and maybe even Beckham would actually perform better than him um, if they were... Uh, transported back in the in the day um i, I would probably agree maybe Messi or ronaldo I, I don't know i wouldn't necessarily say beckham but but yeah so um as far as the car ladder index here um how this works from the first cell you start at a thousand and then um whatever the index is currently that is so basically you start at a thousand if it goes up the index goes up if it goes down, it means the index goes down, right? The prices go down as far as sales. That's how it's calculated. Um, so it's pretty much uh, 8x as far as current value in the past seven years as far as the index. I mean, it's not like you can invest directly in index, um, but if you get the cards that are, in it, that are that I'm going to be talking about, you will see uh, growth. Uh, yeah, so I guess at one point it did dip down. I'm from. Here we go. You dipped, Daniel. You dipped. Why are you a dip? 2015 to less to the index to 838, but then the highest. Uh, which is probably looks like 2022, maybe in August, September, no, you know, July, August time period. Uh, it was at 11,000. So, you know, 10x, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, there's only 51 cards or other cards. 
Um, but I want to talk about most of the vintage cars. There's a lot of different cars for Pele, and we will see them. But yeah, we see this this nice. Mostly everything was pretty much stagnant and kind of slowly going up until 2020 going into 2021. Stuff really went up, and then it just went hyperbolic and almost um, here. I remember being in this hobby and talking to many, I'm going to call them V-ites, many people who came in following the Gary V mug life flip it mentality who were like, this card's not worth my time if I can't 2X it by the, by the, by the next month. If I can't 5X something, I, it's not worth my time. Meanwhile, we're holding out these other asset classes, these huge war holds, these pieces that made 14% year over year for somebody as like a monstrous, amazing investment. Cards can be that. The thing is, cards have always been that. That's not what a lot of people who came into cards in the last year want cards to be. Which is not sustainable. And this is more of a sign of a bubble. Um, and I think these things went up too fast. And now we're starting to see the decline. Uh, there could be another spike. And then I think um, we could see a decline more into here somewhere eventually. And then, and then eventually it'll probably go back up. Uh, this is it in the last year. Um, really most of the gains have really happened in the last year. Growth rate, 338%, uh, real change in value, 7,000 as far as the index. Yeah. The last year has been, it's not even the last year. It's been the last 10 months, to be honest with you. That's when you'll be smoking that stuff. Drugs is great. Five months. This is comparing, um, Pele and Wayne Gretzky here. Uh, and blue is Wayne Gretzky, and here is Pele. Uh, I would say there's technically less overall cards of Pele than Wayne Gretzky. Uh, the, the issue here is Wayne Gretzky is, uh, how, how would you say, I would say, um, He's the greatest, undisputed greatest hockey player. And that may be part of the reason why his price is a little bit higher. But it seems like his prices have always been higher than Pele's. And soccer is the most popular sport in the world. And Pele is probably one of the most well-known soccer players who isn't playing. Outside of probably David Beckham, who isn't playing. So it's really interesting. A lot of people would say Pele is underpriced and that he has a long way to go. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Pele, I, I don't think, outside of him passing away, um, I don't see how much it will go up anytime soon. Um, and I say if he does, I do think it will come back down. And, and I do think uh, I've been very scary for the average investor, whether it's inflation, interest rates, gas prices, home equity value, all this stuff that's taking place. I mean, some of the numbers, the average investor this year lost roughly 44%. The 60-40 portfolio that's been used for many, many years is down 34%. It's worse in nearly 100 years. As It'll take a while because I think a lot of the demand for Pele cards is more so for flip and to make some money and just to show status um, when there's not as much organic demand, the cards aren't as nicer and to a lot of people, they aren't as iconic in a sense. Here's his top card, uh, 1957 Oliveira and um, Benesi. It's a very rare card. There's only one graded, and it's this one. I don't know if there's any other ones out there. But, yeah, this is kind of like the Holy Grail. This is in the millions of dollars. Good luck finding this. You'll you'll probably never find it. So let's move on. 1958, uh, Alpha Boget, Pele, 635. A uh, car ladder value is $14,000 for a PSA 1, pop 15. All these are low pop. Um, obviously, there's in between from that. They think it's overvalued by 20%. That's interesting. But yeah, that's what the car looks like. I mean, most cars are very expensive, especially for his rookie stuff. Um, that's why a lot of people try to buy his eminence autos or flawless autos. Um, there's cheap. They're still expensive.
there's just not much Pele stuff in general out there. So people are just going to spend a bunch of money on it. Um, yeah. So it reached all the way to $20,000, but now it's kind of dipping. Yep, Daniel, you did. Um, and then also, I mean, people need to know that Messi has won three World Cups. Uh, just just an impressive resume. Um, even though Ronaldo has scored more goals than him, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, growth rate apparently for this card since 2017 is uh 1,363%. Part of it has to do because of the boom and everything went up and eventually it came to Pele cards. I mean, eventually they were underpriced probably for a while. And then, you know, a lot of people, it's like, oh, I need to take advantage of this. Um, and yeah, uh, went up by $16,000, which is crazy. And then a PSA 9 is extremely expensive in the millions of dollars. In the last so for $1.33 million, over by, by 6%. Okay. Uh, I'll only pop six. And it has just been, could have got this for, I don't know, less than $100,000, maybe $80,000, $50,000, $20,000, something like that. And then, yeah, it's been worth a million dollars. It's crazy. Um, Looks like the lowest price here is $57,000, which is really interesting. So, you know, if you want to find something that's worth a million dollars, wait to best sells in 2023, 2024, spend $57,000 for a card. Um, however, I don't think there's going to be a big boom like this anytime soon. And you have crazy gains. Um, I still think there's a lot of greed in the market. And 2023 and 2024, things are going to decrease. But yeah, went up by $1.27 million. That's crazy. 1958, uh, Colico Titularis Pele um, out of 50. That's what the car looks like. I don't have as much information on that. Then you have uh, this one. Out of 86. Uh, you have 50. And then out of 86 here on the right. Looks like it has like an autograph or something. <laughs>